Shade tree here. Got another little helpful automotive tip. Let's say you're trying to install a wide band O2 sensor into your car and you just bought it from the internet and you got it home and then you realize, oh man, this kit, you know, let's say you bought it used because I think some of them do come with the bone. Some of them don't, you know. So let's say you're putting it in and then you realize, I got to put a bone in the exhaust. What am I going to do? And if you're like me and you live in the unperformance part of the world, if you go down to AutoZone or Discount or any of those other automotive stores, they're going to look at you for a while for a crazy stare until they realize, oh, you're just crazy. So what you do is while you're there, and they've kind of pretty much determined that you're nuts because, you know, it should be on your stock car. You know, they don't understand you're modifying something. What you do is you go into the help section there where they have all the nuts and bolts and hardware for your door handles and all that. And you go, and what you're looking for is a spark plug no fouler. Okay, and what this is, this is 18 millimeters, and as you can see right there, 18 millimeter. And what you're going to end up doing, this little product is kind of unique. It recesses your spark plug because your rings are so bad, it's throwing oil up in there and keeps your spark plug from fouling out. That's the idea. What you're going to do is I'm going to actually take this out of its package if I can. There we go. Kind of hard to do one-handed. There we go. As you can see, it's threaded. Female threads on this side, male threads on that side. All right. Well, you don't need the male threads. Wow, that really comes a hard to show up on the camera. So what you're going to do here is you're going to take your O2 sensor and kind of lay it next to it and figure out where you're going to need it. Basically, you're going to end up cutting this thing with a hacksaw or whatever type of saw you got right in around this area. And then you're going to drill the hole in your exhaust the size that this piece is right here, from here to there. This step drill bit will work for that. And then you can slide this down in there and weld it on there. And then that way, you got yourself an O2 bunk. And the neat thing here is, you get two of them. So if you have an American car with dual exhaust, and you bought a wide band and you want to slip it from side to side, you got two of them. Or if you kind of mess it up and you know, make it in the wrong spot, you got two of them. The neat thing is, I think this was about four or five bucks. All right. So most of these O2 bungs, I think you can buy them on the internet for about three or four dollars, plus like six dollars shipping. These are pretty much cheaper than buying the correct O2 bung weld-in bung. Now, of course, the O2 bungs are made out of bigger and thicker material. These are a little skinnier on the sides, you know, and they are more professional looking when they're installed. But if you're on the cheap, or if you're just like me and you don't have a place locally that you can get that, this is something that you can do to alleviate that problem. Um, like I say, most automotive parts stores have them. It's in the help section, which is usually at most of the ones I go to, kind of where they have the oil drain plugs, you know, and all that stuff, the, the sealant. This is usually kind of in that aisle there. But it's called a spark plug. No fouler is what it's called. Um, there are probably different brands at every different store and I figured that would be a good little help section I've done this a couple of times because like I say I order some parts and I forget oh I need to buy an O2 bung or if you're making a whole new exhaust you know and you got the one that you bought with the kit welded in that exhaust you know then like on our Volkswagens that we got the muffler is detachable and everybody kind of puts it in the muffler or sometimes in the collector so you know if you get rid of that exhaust system now you don't have an O2 bung and you forgot when you're switching your motor over run down to the auto parts store get a spark plug no fouler cut it below the the notch between the uh, below the hex head here each O2 sensor is probably going to be a little different so you'll want to um, you know make sure that it's the right size and if you look they got a little bit of a taper for the gasket because you're putting a spark plug on it it has the gasket on it so everything should work good for you I figure I'll give you all a little helpful tip and um, hopefully everybody's having a good time working on the cars keep these things running you know they're getting fewer and far between no matter what you got and uh, subscribe if you like any of the content hit the like button leave a comment I'll try and get back to you and let's have a good time out there let's get these things all running, no matter if it's a Chevrolet, Volkswagen, or a Toyota, or a Honda, you know, but I figured that would be a good little tip for some people. All right, see y'all later. Bye.